Are you interested in creating boom cards, but someone has told you that it's best to make them through PowerPoint? Then stick around because we are going to make some boom cards using PowerPoint and very quickly answer the question, is there an advantage to making boom cards with PowerPoint? Hi, my name is Lorianne, and if you are new to this channel, welcome. Here at It's All Primary, we focus on teacher productivity and teacher side hustles. Click that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. Tuesdays are when we post teacher productivity, and Saturdays you will see teacher side hustles. I've made about 20, 25 decks on Boom Learning, and I've started now questioning whether it is faster or easier to make Boom cards using either Google Slides, PowerPoint, Keynote, you know, is there an actual advantage? Because I personally was not seeing it. So I asked around and I actually asked what whom who I consider one of the big guns at Boom Learning and the answer simply was no. There is no advantage. It really is about style and how you work, really. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you a very easy tutorial on how to create boom cards using PowerPoint. Okay, we are in PowerPoint. I am going to create a blank presentation. And the first thing I want to do is change the slide size. I was watching a video from Boom Learning and they talk about that the slide size they would prefer it to be seven and seven inches by five inches now i live in canada so i get um mine is in centimeters which is eight uh, roughly 17 point something <laughs> i think it's 17.8 or something 17.8 and 12.8 or something or 12.9 and just scale down let me just get rid of these so the first thing I want to do is create a background that I'm going to use on every slide so go again go up to the right where it says format background and find picture or texture fill and then picture source insert. I'll go into my clip art and find a winter background because we're going to make a winter counting, not counting, a winter addition. I'm going to do a two digit by one digit adding. I really like edu clips. It tends to be, I, I was, it was recommended to me that you should try and stick with one or two types of clip art so you're not always looking and spending a lot of time and I do really enjoy um, edu clips. I do like creative clips as well, whimsy clips. <laughs> There's lots of great ones out there but I'm trying to stick mainly with edu clips and let's find a winter picture here. Is that the one I want? No, I want the one with the trees. Yeah, there it is. I think that's it. Let's just open that one up. So when I insert, there it is. And the next thing I'm going to do is down at the bottom here, under the format background, I'm going to click apply to all. And now when I ask for a new slide, insert a new slide, it will just give me a new one. Like that. Or you can just go duplicate slide. If you've watched some of my other videos, you've seen me make uh, slides before but what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly make a bunch of them and and then I'll show you what to do next so let me just fast forward actually I've already got some a set ready so let me just go back to home and I called it winter counting which was wrong but anyways so I just made whip these off last night and again I'm I'm wanting to create a two digit uh, add, add one digit. All right. Now, once you have created your slides, you're going to go up to File, right at the very top, and you are going to click Export because you need to convert these into images. 
and why you need to do that is so that the background image, the fonts you use, the uh, clip art is all flattened and protected for your terms of use with when you buy clip art and fonts from the sellers. So I'm going to change the file format to JPEG. And then what I want to do is I want to change, and you can see it's already here. Um, again, Boom Learning recommends that the height width is 1,000 for the height, around 1,400 for the width. And I am saving every slide. So now these will all go into a one file folder. I can. What's really nice about putting all of this in PowerPoint, I can always go back and add more which is one reason why I like to use PowerPoint. Or what I could do is later on, I could turn some of these into Google Slides or another digital product. So that's, to me, one advantage of creating Boom Cards in PowerPoint. But for now, I'm going to save every slide. And I've actually already done that, so I'll show you. But I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to go into Boom Learning. Oops, let's get rid of that one. So here's Boom Learning. I'm not signed in. Shocking. To work in. And go to Studio. Now, in order to get the JPEG that I've created with PowerPoint, I need to go first to Images. So I'm going to go to Images, and I'm going to Upload. I was working on this yesterday, so this is why some of this is automatic. But in my downloads, I created a winter adding, which I put it right up at the top. And the, here are the slides that I exported. Okay, so then you would just click on, you can click on all of them if you want to. And if you're in a Mac, you hit Command, and you can just click them all, right? Whoops. And they're already like I said, uploaded here into my file folders for images. Then you go back and go to make a deck. You're going to make a deck and it's blank. So now click on to add new images and if you notice here the comment says this feature is useful for PowerPoint users. And I'm going to say yes and now I can click all the slides that I've made These are now in here, and uh, the only thing is I can't change them because they are a, an image. If I wanted to try and change this, I can't. There's nothing I can do with this. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> That's one reason why I make a, um, I'll usually add one that is blank. So if I suddenly get an inspiration to create another one, I have it ready. <laughs> but in the meantime, this is almost ready. What I need to do is add the answer, or and that can be a multiple choice, fill in the blank, a multi-pick. So I'm going to just do fill in the blank and get it the right size. Double tap it with and put the answer in. Come on. Here we go. Okay, so you type in the answer. 46. I'm going to put numeric. I'm going to uh, put in this font. I'm going to put in about 88. And then hit submit. Close. And there is the answer. So let me do a couple of these. Here this one. Here So say I look at this and going, whoop, that's not right. Just go double tap it back. You've got to go up here, clear it, and then type in the right one, hit submit. And then that'll give you, now you've got the right number in there.
Okay, so they all have an answer. Whoops, except this one. I think I actually duplicated this one, so let me get rid of this. You just highlight that, go up to your trash, and that'll get rid of it. And now we're good. Okay, so let's just preview this. And type in the, your answers to make sure that they're okay. Oops, my sound is off. I'll do wrong answer, see what happens. Oops. Okay, and then we're done. So those slides are done. What I will do as part of next week's video is I will show you what to do now that you've got your um, boom cards ready and you want to sell them on teachers pay teachers or just on boom learning and it'll be a lot of it will be this I did a part of this already on the previous video you can watch um, again I'll do it a little bit more thoroughly including the PDF that you create in teachers pay teachers in order to sell these over there at that store. All right, c'est tout. <laughs> so that's it. It's it's really not that hard. So, and if you have not tried boom cards, I highly recommend it. They are a lot of fun. My students, even today, when I was asking one of my students, they want more boom cards. <laughs> so this weekend, I'll be making more boom cards. If you found any value from this video, I'd appreciate the you clicking the thumb up and subscribe and click that bell so you get notified of, of upcoming videos of up. <laughs> and next Saturday, we are going to be looking at some of the tools that you can find in Boom Learning. Even now, after making as many as I have, I'm still learning about the different ways and different features that some of these buttons and icons that they provide can do for your cards. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you are staying safe. Keep yourself healthy. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.